And police and road safety campaigners are pleading with motorcyclists to slow down after another fatal crash, this time at Woodcroft. The 22-year-old rider is the 17th to die on our roads this year, almost double last year's total. The 22-year-old man from Clemsig was riding north on Panalatinga Road just before six yesterday afternoon when he hit a pole on the median strip and landed in the path of a car driving in the opposite direction. He died at the scene. Our initial investigations have revealed that speed was a contributor towards the crash. Police say members of the victim's family were following close behind but didn't witness the crash. They're urging anyone who did to come forward, desperate to curb the rising road toll. So the numbers continue to rise. Another young man miscalculates never reaching his destination and never seeing the consequences for those he's left behind. Julie McIntyre's son, Lee, died in a motorcycle crash in 2004. And then they get that knock at the door, like we got, you know, and then their life is shattered. And why? Because they haven't put the riding age up. The Motorcycle Riders Association says any changes shouldn't be made without careful consideration. Before we decide on any course of action, we must investigate each and every one of those deaths. Motorcyclists are vulnerable road users. They are 30 times more likely to be involved in a crash on South Australian roads. And much more susceptible to injury. Tim Noonan, 7 News.